Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the first episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. Um, we're just going to start off here. If you guys are not familiar with Darkness Falls, um, it's a full overhaul mod for 7 Days to Die. I'm just going to get started here. It changes a lot of things about the game. Um, I prefer this over the regular 7 Days to Die. Um, I find the challenge in Darkness Falls to be a little bit um, greater than you would find in regular vanilla. Um, and because of that, I I'm just enjoy it much more. Um, I'm finding the new uh, Alpha 20 is great. It's visually beautiful, but it's not any more difficult than any other alphas before. Even with Feral Sense on, you kind of get used to the zombies. So I've decided to play a Darkness Falls series. Um, and this we're gonna get just get gonna go ahead and just get started here um, oops all right go ahead and use our backpack here we got a bit of space in our inventory beautiful so like I said darkness falls is an overhaul mod for seven days to die I'm just gonna bring a few of these things down here and we're gonna turn that into some sharp rocks so we can make an, a stone axe and then we're gonna use the recipe so you'd get different classes. Originally uh, Alpha 20 Darkness Falls you started off with with uh, two choices. Now you only get one choice. I'm going to choose Farmer um, because I want to go Shotguns and the Farmer class has got uh, some good perks for Shotguns and it's going to be good for us relatively early in the game so we're going to go ahead and craft the, the book for that and then we'll go ahead and just read this and it'll give us six levels of quests for the Farmer uh, quests. Now I know all these quests and I know them fairly well so I know what I need to grab here at the beginning to be able to knock those off in a couple of days. Now we're going to go ahead and make a stone axe here. Uh, then we got to get some more stone. Actually I can make a bow too I think at, the, at this point, right? Yeah. Don't have any feathers but that's fine. We'll get the bow and we'll bring it down. Um, so we're going to head to the trader. Now this, um, the way this uh, uh, my settings uh, are set up for this is I've got it set at warrior difficulty which is what I normally play at all the time uh, anything lower than that I find it's just a little too easy and anything like higher than that and it's like the zombies are just bullet sponges and it, it's it's not like it's that much harder it just takes longer to kill the zombies and that's about it so I'm not really that concerned about you know I mean, we'll crank the difficulty up in the later game for sure, when we have lots of firepower, but early game warrior difficulty is fine. Um, so we're going to go with that. I put the hordes on... Um, we have hordes every two days, with a variation of two days, so they'll be coming every two to four days. Um, now, that's going to be good for us because it'll give us lots of experience uh, relatively early. It'll advance the game really quickly. Um, I don't know if I want this series to go past 70 days. Um, I may end it earlier than that. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Actually, I'm going to break this whole stone up here because I want the nitrate powder. Um, we'll see how it goes. I don't know really how much I want to do. Um, but I do want to play the game, get into some of the newer content. Um, now, this is a custom generated world. It's not one of the Darkness, Darkness Falls supplied worlds. Because I found that with the new alpha, which is 401... Uh, well, that's the alpha that I'm on. I don't know. K may have released a new one since then. Um, apparently, uh, random world gen maps under 12k, I believe it is, or 12k and under, um, they generate just fine and will spawn the buildings just fine. This Darkness Falls specific buildings, because um, there's a lot of specific buildings uh, for for Darkness Falls that that go with the main storyline. Uh, and there is a little, you know, kind of a main storyline. It's the same as before, although I think there's new... Well, in fact, I know there's a new trader. Uh, one guy that's got, apparently, like, all the workstations, functioning workstations in his place. It's the old Trader Wreck building. Um, and since the last um, Alpha um, 20 version of Darkness Falls, Kane's changed the traders slightly. Originally, the traders' walls were paper-thin. Uh, and zombies were just completely destroying the traders um, because in Darkness Falls the, the trader compound is not protected anymore. Uh, zombies can easily break in, they can kill the trader, things like that, right? So um, he's increased the wall strength. Uh, so we don't need those. Let's bring this down. I'm going to bring some of the stuff down to here 
just so we can see how much we're carrying. Bring that down, bring that down. I'm going to need this. Okay, let's get moving. So, yeah, like, so as I was saying, um, he's changed the traders and stuff uh, so that they're a little bit more protected because a lot of the first, like, um, if you've never played Darkness Falls, it's good to stay in the trader for your first night. Um, it offers a little bit of protection. Like, originally in Alpha 20, or Alpha 19, sorry, I've got a bit of lag here. I think the zombies have started spawning. That's fine. In Alpha 19, um, the traders had trader guards up on the walls to help keep the place safe. Now they don't exist anymore. Uh, the trader guards just aren't there. So there's no protection for the trader. So other than the walls, there's not much that's giving the um, um, giving you any protection at the trader. So we got 10 of those. So let's make five sharp rocks here. So I'm trying to talk, talk and play here at the same time. Let's make some arrows because I want to try and kill this deer if I can. Try and get some food early on before we get to the trader. That's ah, a little far away. Oh, right here. Damn it. Oh my god, I got it in the first shot. Alright, we're not going to kill this other one. We're just going to take the one over here. Uh, anyway, so yeah, normally you'd stay in the trader the first night. Ah, nice. We got enough for a bone knife, too. Recipes, bone knife, craft. I got to keep the um, rotten flesh. It's for one of my quests for farmer. Um, and there's a freaking bear. Because of course there is. Let's go ahead and harvest this up. Zombies will be here soon. Um, so for Darkness Falls, the main changes... Oh yeah, sorry, the other thing too is Feral Sense. I got Feral Sense on during the day, so we should get zombies coming from like all over the damn place to come and get us. Uh, but Kane has changed the way the zombies spawn. So we've got zombies that will... Um, let's go ahead and do as many of these as we can get here. Zombies will spawn... Um, uh, a lot more in the cities and a lot less in the wilderness. And in the wilderness, you'll get more animals um, and less zombies. So in the in the cities, you'll get le you'll get less animals. So if we want to go hunting for for meat, our best choice is to go outside the city. And if we want to be hunting for zombies, the best place to go is of course inside the city. So I'm gonna make my way to the trader as quickly as possible here and just gather up. My god, the lag. When stuff first starts to load in and darkness falls, I find it gets really, really laggy for me. Um, but then once things have loaded, um, it goes pretty easily. Uh, I even find the cities not so bad. Not as bad as my last series where I was ha like having an impossible time. Uh, with this, with darkness falls, it's been uh, relatively easy um, on my frame rate. So I'm able to kind of play without too much of a problem. But yeah, so like in the cities, it should be um, it should be really interesting. The zombies are going to come from all over. Uh, now the feral sense is all like I said, only on during the day. It's not on at nighttime. That'll give us since we're having a horde every two to four days. That'll give us the ability to um, at least do some stuff at night. And there's a wolf which we don't really want to. We do want to fight because I want the leather. Are you facing towards me or away? Oh, shit. There. Oh, he stopped moving. I hear that zombie coming right up on me. There we go. Oh, shit, here he comes. You guys deal with him. He's pissed. Not that pissed, though. Come on. Here he comes. See if he gets the zombies or me. Oh, he sees me. Alright, we did enough damage to him, so... How about a stamina? Bleed, you bastard. So, Spears in Darkness Falls, if you don't know, they've been changed so that the right click doesn't throw them. It's a power attack. Nice. So, um... Yeah, with a power attack, you can knock them down with one shot. If you're good with it. Like, if you get them right in the face. For, for the average zombie, 
the average zombie, it's usually a knockdown, which is always good. I know there's a box in here. I think we want to grab that. Let's deal with these guys. We'll get some bleed on too with the right click power attack. So the series should be good. I mean, like I'm really hoping that we get a lot of um, zombies. I've been finding it. That's a survivor, by the way, who are in this version of Darkness Falls have been completely useless in helping me. They don't do very much damage. They're more like a tank where they'll attack the zombie. Ooh, that's really nice. We need that for our metal workbench later on. They'll attack the zombie, but they won't do a lot of damage. They just kind of tie them up. Which in a way is good. I think there's a crawler in here. Oh, no, there's a guy in here. Yeah, you can crawl. If you don't know, you can in Darkness Falls, you can crawl under one space. Uh... Really? You can crawl through one, one uh, block high blocks in Darkness Falls. Come on. Right, break that out. Guy's coming to help me. Not really, though. Don't know if I got the XP for that, but... Okay, we got any gas? We do. I'll take it. I mean, I don't really need it, but I'm going to grab it for now. Nothing in there. So, the uh, loot, too, in Darkness Falls is better in chests and stuff like this, but it's a lot worse in, in trash. I'm like, I'm not going to find... You know, the same amount of loot. I, oh my god. Like that. I won't find that in uh, garbage, that's for sure. Grab that. Let's bring down the axe. Oh man, we're going to be so overweight. We'll bring this down. And let's bring down... we got to see how much of this we have. We don't need to see how many carrots we have, but we can swip, swatch, blah, swap this out for yucca. We need eight yucca, and we need eight... Um, chrysanthemum for our first quest. Now, how many uh, apples do we have? We got 20, so we got plenty of apples. Um, let's repair you. This is going to keep heading this way, I guess. So as I go, I'm just going to... I'll tell you what, I'm just going to run to the trader real quick here. Grab the stuff we need along the way. Oh, shit, there was another wolf. I'm not going to bother shooting you. I wasn't able to kill the guy with one shot last time. Normally, I was, I'm was, i able to pull down a wolf with one shot to the head with a bow, but it's um, a little tougher this time. I'm not going to bother tempting fate there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to run to the trader, grab some stuff on the way, uh, and then when we get there, we can talk a little bit more about kind of what I got planned. All right, we're slowly approaching the town here. It looks like Trader Hugh, which is kind of nice because he's got a lot of... Ooh, that's really nice. Uh, he's got a lot of good stuff to loot early on. Let's bring you down. Do that. Load you as we go. Ooh, that's a dire wolf. We do not want to go over on that side. Dire wolf will kill us on day one. Definitely. Regular wolf, if we get a first shot on him, hit him in the head. Uh, if it's still alive, we can probably take him down with the spear. One or two hits and he's down. Um, but dire wolf, we're, we're just dead. There's no way we're surviving that. So my goal for this series, um, we may spend the first night in the trader. I haven't decided yet. We'll just see what we get. I want to do some quests so the city's going to start to load here. The cities are going to be a little bit bigger than normal. Um, I dialed it way back from the last Alpha uh, Alpha 20 series I did. Um, city size in the spawns. Um, but I did make them a little bigger. Let's repair you. So the cities are a bit bigger. So there's more in them to explore and stuff. But not so much that it's going to murder my frame rate. Like it will when they first start to load. And that's a dire wolf too. We don't want to go over there. Um, when they first load, it'll be a little slower. But um, after they're loaded, it, it won't be it won't be a problem at all. Yeah, let's just stay away from that guy. All right. Um, so I got all the materials I need for my first 
set of quests for my farmer series or my farmer uh, we need clay which I think is going to be the hardest thing to get as we load in Hughes place here and nitrate powder which I think we're doing pretty well on we should get the rest by like we need to get 40 rotten flesh for the second round and 100 nitrate powder and 400 clay where's our nitrate powder 37 we should have no problem doing that just by digging up dead bodies. Yeah, I have to go a little slow here. So, part of the issue, uh, when I was first started playing Darkness Falls for Alpha 20, was the, the paper-thin um, walls of the trader. So, with the increased zombie spawns, uh, it was really, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrap these for the iron it was really difficult because I would have to roll up on the town and then before I could go into the trader that dire wolf's killing a guy over there before I could go into the trader I would have to like hang out outside and kill all of the zombies otherwise they would just break through the walls and there's usually like I don't know 20 or so zombies that you gotta kinda kill don't bring that fucking wolf over here, lady. That dire wolf comes, we're going inside. I'm not sticking around out here. Oh, lag. That's the town loading in. Okay, let's get the bleed on you. Yeah, look at them all coming out of the woodwork over here. So, Feral Sense is really great. I'm really enjoying it in Darkness Falls. It wasn't too much of a big deal in regular Seven Days to Die. But uh, in Darkness Falls, I can't see kind of playing it any other way because it's like, it's just makes it that much more scary. And it's, I can't wait till we get to the wasteland when shit's just going to be coming at us from everywhere, right? Whereas before, it's like, as long as we were careful, we could, you know, get to where we were going without much of a problem. All right, a little bit of clothing. We can actually just wear these now. And we'll wear that. We should, we're going to be getting clothing after we finish this first quest, but I'm not finishing yet because we got to make seeds and that's just going to add more to our inventory. So I'm kind of waiting till we get to the trader to do that. Okay, that wolf has gone back to the road. Three more shotgun rounds, nice. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this should be good. I mean, I'm really, I'm really hoping that the series is good. I've already... I already played um, in the very first um, uh, released version of Darkness Falls, which was version, f I think it was just 4.0. This is 4.00, or sorry, 4.01. Uh, but the first version of Darkness Falls, I played for like 20 days or so on Horde every three days. And that was fun. It got a little bit monotonous at a certain point because um, my base was at that point where I wasn't getting any really dangerous zombies, but the zombies couldn't do anything to the base, so it was just, you know, wait out the horde night pretty much. Man, we got lots of trees and stuff around here. All right, there's a uh, power station over there, which we may spend the first night up on. Some houses. It's not really advised to be in the town during the night because of all the spawns. Okay, it's sounding pretty quiet out here now. All right. Let's go, um, let's loot this place first. Of course, as soon as we come in here, as soon as we come in here, friggin' zombies show up. So this is functioning. So let's go ahead and drop an anvil in there right now. God damn it. I'm fucking busy, leave me alone. Leave me the hell alone. Okay. So we're going to have to try and find some iron today. I want to get some forged iron going. So we don't need to make a forge, which is nice. Which we wouldn't be able to do to day 10 anyway. Um, so the skill system, I'm not sure if you guys know, in Darkness Falls is completely different than the regular 7 days. There's no stats. Um, it's all um, based on pretty much based on usage for a lot of stuff. Scrap those, take that. 
So the more you use your skills, the better with them you get. And then you've got certain skills that you can buy. That guy's going to make his way over, but I'm not going to wait for him. Um, let's go down here first. So yeah, the more skill, like the more you use your skill, like my spear skill, the more I use it, the better I get with it. And then higher, then higher the, the secondary skills can go, which are kind of important. They, they're, they're, they're the skills that really make the uh, weapon use shine. So we've got a couple of skill points to spend already. So let's go ahead and actually, holy shit. Okay, well that's a lot of stuff. All right, so we got two skill points. Um, we should have two. Yeah, we do. So the first skill point I want to do, we should have a point now. Yeah, so bladed weapons has gone up to two already by using the spear. We're going to put one in the knife guy, decrease the stamina use, and increase our damage output. And then we're going to go over here, and we're going to go to weapon crafting. And then we'll do, we're going to do tool, tool crafting next, and then gun crafting. So just give, that's... The, the tool and weapon crafting are what gives us the ability to make better, obviously, obviously better tools and weapons. Okay, now the walls of this place are like 5,000 hit points. So those guys shouldn't break through back there. So let's just go and loot the rest of this place. Take all those. And I think what we'll do... Oh, we have a functioning workbench as well. Wow, okay. That's awesome. That's going to save a lot of skill points. Because I don't have to spec into actually being able to make those. Um, there's a whole bunch of gun parts. We've got auto rifle barrel, generic rifle parts, hunting rifle receiver, hunting rifle barrel, and generic rifle stocks. So we have enough to make a generic rifle once we get the skill. Alright, check what's in here. Take all that. Just gonna take everything here and then we'll go inside, talk to Q. Let's break this up. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill these guys from in here. Now Kane put bars up here. Which is a I mean, it makes the base safer, but I would rather there be kind of what was here before so I could actually stick my spears through and did he? You know what? He somehow tried to climb over and got uh, smoked. Okay, buddy. Ah, uh, right over his... How, how can I miss him that close? Fucking bobbleheads. That's what it is. Yeah, look at that. Look at you, champion. Am I out of arrows already? How am I out of arrows? All right, see if we can kill this guy in one shot. At least with this being on Feral Sense, on during the day. Whether I use the shotgun or not, I mean, yeah, it'll attract zombies, but they're already going to be attracted to me, so it don't really matter. Doesn't really matter. What are you looking for? Me? I am looking to steal all your chairs and scrap them. Uh, where are they here? Oh, there they are. Go ahead and scrap you to keep the nails. We're going to put most of the stuff upstairs. Nothing in there. So they've changed the way that these um, White River Scouts work. Before it was the Guard Captain. Um, the Guard Captain would give you additional quests like the Trader would. But this this one will only give you the... Um, what are they called? The challenges, which is kind of nice. I mean, it's better than, you know, doing two quests a day, but this one, they'll give you the challenges. It's basically kill X number of zombies and you get a small reward for it. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. Um, because I don't think that counts for... I'm pretty sure it doesn't count for... Um, quickly. Uh, rewards from the trader. So it doesn't really give us anything to go and do those other than the extra dukes here and there, and if we can gather that extra bit of dukes by raiding instead of actually doing that quest, I would rather do that. Okay, you. Perfect. Let's go upstairs first, then we'll come back downstairs and deal with all the stuff down here. Now, got lots of leather up here. You can't make a forge on day one anyway. I mean, we've got one. 
but we, we wouldn't be able to make one so it's not like I really need the leather for much uh, we're gonna run with light armor in this series like I've been doing in the past little while I pretty much just go with padded armor um, to keep my speed normal and then once I get to a point where I can ooh, that's really nice early on let's use that um, once I get to a point where I can make military armor and not lose any mobility I'll make military armor and use that okay so we can use that use that and we're gonna sell that so all the other classes at the beginning um, that we didn't start with we can actually gain those classes later on um, let's go ahead and wear the suit jacket for now and that doesn't let's pick you up what do we got here Ooh, nice that's the uh, forge let's go ahead and use that okay let's get this stuff out of here we're gonna stay here for now break that up let's put you down here let's go ahead and make I can just go ahead and scrap you I guess Let's make some storage chests. And we'll stay here, I think, for night one until we can find a better place to live. Now, these are the speedy. That's the stamina regen we're running. We're going to wear these and go with those to start. Put that, that, and that, and that. Now, the organics will go in this one. Stuff that we want to keep. We need eight of these. We need eight of those out. And what else do we have here? Those guys can go in there. That will keep on us for now because I'm going to try and finish that today. And then in here... Um, the Oh, no, not the bones. Uh, let's modify you. Take the die out. So die is worse stuff in this one. And, uh, and darkness falls. So we can actually sell the die. Got to make two of those for our quest. Ah, come on. Got to make two of these for our quest. And then we get our clothing, which I think we're just going to end up selling. We'll wear the hat for now. Do we have a shirt? We don't. So I know we have pants and boots, or pants and shoes, so we'll wear those. Okay, let's go talk to the trader, get some stuff sold. And we'll get hopefully get a quest off of him and we can get the hell out of here. Hopefully get <coughs> most of this quest on here. Um, can I see your inventory? All right. Sell a bunch of this stuff off. Shouldn't have sold that, but I'm selling it anyway. I want to keep the ammo. Bellows can go. These guys can go. That can go. So we've made 900 already. So not too bad. Now, do you have... You've got a steel spear, which is pricey. What I want to do is find if you've got... You've got iron bolts. So I can make an iron spear early on. It's really, really cheap to make. Um, all you need is like... I'm going to buy these. That's right. Do the math. We'll open them. Just two of them. And then recipes, um, iron spear. So we need two duct tape and two leather. And I think I'll hold off looting the rest of this. Actually, let's grab, uh, got any jobs? Anything really, really close by? Fetch to the south? Southwest? Closer? Sure. So the fetch fetches are like super fast to do. So we're going to do that super fast. Let's drop you in there. Uh, sticks can go in there. The wood we'll keep, we'll keep. Clay for now can go in there. This ammo can go in there. Uh, we need two leather. We've got one glue. We can only make one duct tape. I wonder if he's got any. Um, let's go see if he has any duct tape. I'd like to have a st steel spear early. Um... Can I see your inventory? No, I don't want to see your... Oh, yes, I do. Or something else. Sorry, thinking of one thing, doing another. Um, resources. You've got glue, though. Duct tape's 87, glue's 70. We'll just buy that. Perfect. And then we can just... Like no curtains, huh? Sure. Banging away on the wall out there. Somebody's going to break a, 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 block, a block out there shortly. Okay, um, get that crafted, iron spear, level 11, yep, craft that, we can go ahead and scrap you, let's get moving, we got stuff to do, gonna smoke this zombie outside first, there we go, bring you down, 
You don't got much time left. You notice there's no uh, clock in the... Um... We're going to have enough time to do this? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, probably not. Because we got to go through the city to... And there's going to be zombies everywhere. Yeah, we don't have enough time. What we do have time for is to grab some goop here. I need to get... I need to get about 50 nitrate powder and another 14 um, rotten flesh. It would be nice to find a bird right about now. Or a zombie dog. I mean, I guess it'll go fast as long as we keep finding the goo piles. There's another one. Actually, we need cloth too. So if we can... Oop, a bit of lag there. If we can grab some cloth while we're out. That'll be good too. I want to make some uh, padded armor tonight. I think there's a goo pile by the uh, ambulance here. So let's check that out. I'm going to grab this too. So food and drink are going to be a bit of an issue at the start. That guy's alive. And we're out of arrows. But we got this, so... Wake up, buddy. I'm here. Ooh, presents for me. Some plastic. Gunpowder. Okay. So yeah, you can see our what we needed from our quest up in the corner there now. We got 85 nitrate powder. We're pretty darn close. Maybe a couple of these guys will give us some here when they die. But he's gone. Come on, give me a goo pile. We got more coming in. They're just coming out of the word work. You can see what I mean though about like it's gonna be really hard to pull off jobs. Because we're going to have to clear the area first. Glad I made this friggin' um, iron spear. We're going to have to clear the area first. Before we can even go into a building. Oh, that's some pretty good ballerina moves there. Bleed out for me, please. Thank you. Three more coming in. Two more coming in. That's nice. Take that. So we need the... Um... Excellent. I know I can get the clay in the compound at nighttime. So I might be able to actually finish off... Ooh, iron... Or scrap iron pickaxe. We need four more nitrate powder. We got crickets, which is really annoying. Because that means the, the day is almost over. If we can get the nitrate powder, we can go home. What are you doing? Took that, oh, there we go. We'll get it right there. Let's hope we can get it right here. Yep, there it is. Enough nitrate powder. Beautiful. Where am I hearing that banging over there? No big deal. You know, this building here might be a good building for the first Horde Knight. We can just sit up on top. Okay, we'll take those. We'll use that. We'll take that. I might use a repair kit on it, actually. It'll lower the... Um, it'll lower the um, quality of it, but it'll make it worth more. We can sell it. I'm finding that having a good amount of money early is uh, a massive bonus. Uh, we should probably grab more feathers. We got 19. Yeah, we're going to need a few more. All right, got another piece of cloth out of that. So let's kill this lady. Hey, lady. Some carrots. 
Now we don't have a cooking pot, which is going to be an issue. I'll worry about that tomorrow. We can make we can make baked potatoes, and we can make um, we can make uh, yucca to drink tonight because we got a bit of each. So that should give us enough food and drink, I think, for tomorrow. Worst case scenario, I think I could probably buy a few things from the uh, vending machine. I grab all this stuff. So the flowers are harder to get now because they're not, you can't find them in clumps anymore. They're spread out everywhere. I like that idea. There's a lot of things I like about this um, version of Darkness Falls um, compared to the last one. Okay, let's get in here real quick. We don't have a lot of iron on us. How much iron do we have? 108, so we can't really make iron arrow tips. I mean, we could, but it's only gonna be like 50. Don't know if it's really gonna be worth it. Um, we can make like 40. I mean, we're really not gonna be using the bow for all that much. We've got to save some of the iron for repairs for the for the scrap iron tools here. So we got the anvil in. We make 40. I know it's going to take quite a while. Won't let me do any of those. We don't have any clay on us, that's why. Alright, I'm going to be getting my clay from in here tonight. I'm going to be digging this up along here. I really hope zombies don't show up tonight. How long is that going to take? 16 minutes, so it should be done by the end of the night. Uh, one too many. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's go see if we can deal with this guy. Fuck, I missed him. See ya! Okay, I don't hear any more. I think we've clean, cleared most of them out. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably end this episode here. I'm gonna dig up clay around this place. Um, I'm gonna get the farm plots started to craft tonight. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and spend that point before we do anything. Because I wanna put it on... Um, don't we look great? Look at this. Um, tool crafting so that when we re repair our tools they won't degrade below level 11 or sorry if they're level 11 already they won't get any lower if they're above level 11 there's a chance they'll get a little lower um, but anyway I'm going to go ahead and do this we'll dig up all this tonight I'm going to go upstairs make some food um, so we'll have uh, food for tomorrow we'll be prepped to go out and into town and get into some shenanigans because uh Darkness Falls and shenanigans go hand in hand. So I'll end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope you'll stick around for more Darkness Falls in Alpha 20. And I'll see you in the next episode.